Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Welcome to My Zone Online School. I'm Teacher Hartung, and our theme this week is Food Chain and Saving Water. Now, before we start with our lesson, we have to sanitize. So, make sure you put enough sanitizer on your hands. Rub it in, rub it in. Wait for your hands to dry before you continue with your work. Now, let's see what we are going to learn about today. We'll do some problem solving, geometry and adjectives. In the first part of our lesson today, boys and girls, let's turn our booklets to page 23. Now here we are going to do some problem solving. Now remember boys and girls, problem solving is nothing new to you. So let's see what it is that we have to do. Let's do number one together. Tank A holds 225 liters of water. Tank B holds 346 liters of water. Now, how much more water does tank B hold than tank A? Now, let's quickly have a look and see which tank holds the most water. Now, on the board, I wrote down the amount for tank A and tank B. So tank A has 225 liters while tank B has 346. So which tank holds more water? Tank B. That's right. Now we have to look at how much more does tank B have than tank a. So we say tank B has the most, so we have to now subtract tank A's amount to see how much more water tank B holds than A. So the total for tank B, 346, and the total for tank A, 225. Remember, we have to subtract. So we say 6 minus 5 equals 1, 4 minus 2 equals 2, and 3 minus 2 equals 1. And that means that tank A holds 121 liters more water than tank A. Now everyone, I need you to go ahead and read through all these other problems and try and find out how you need to solve all these word sums or problems. Now before you go ahead, 
with fixing and working out and solving all these problems, let's quickly turn our booklets to page 24 and see what we need to do there. Now here, we have to do some geometry. And here we are looking at shapes and positions. It says there, you have to name the shape and its position related to the water jug. And then you have to use the following words. Now when we talk about something's position, we can either say something is on top, under, left, right or between. Okay, either on top, under, left, right or between. And then the shapes that we are looking at, these 3D shapes are a cube, a cylinder, a rectangular prism, a sphere and a cone. Now can you look at those pictures? You will see in each section there is a picture of a water jug and a shape. And then next to it, they ask you, what is the shape and what is its relation to the water jug? So, the first one is a cube. Look carefully. No, that's not a cube. That's a rectangular prism. But remember everyone, it looks very similar, so be careful when you make your decision. Have a look at your shape one more time. Does that look like a cube? No, it doesn't have four equal sides. So the first shape is a rectangular prism. So you write that name next to shape. And then you have to write its relation to the water jug. Now remember, you have to now look at the words on top. Is it on top of the water jar? Is it under the water jar? Left, right or between? Now boys and girls, before you make your decision, I'm quickly going to show you the relation of something on the board. Now on the board I chose a cube. Can you see my cube? All the way over there. And then I also have a coffee mug. So when we say something is on top, that would mean my mug would be on top of my cube. On top. And when we say left, then I would move it all the way over here. So my mug is left of my cube and then on this side my mug would be on the right hand side of the cube. Now these are just a few examples. I want you to go back, have a good look at all your shapes and remember use the words on top to guide you and show you what it could possibly be and then you go ahead and write in your shape and the relation to your shape or the relation of the water jar to the shape okay now boys and girls you can go ahead and finish all your problems and also Please make sure you have a good look at all your shapes and write it in. I will see you shortly after the ad break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For this part of our lesson, let's turn our booklets to page 25. Now here we are going to do adjectives. It says there, an adjective is a word 
that describes a noun or pronoun. Remember, it describes a noun or pronoun. There is an example. It says, Dorothy is a beautiful girl. Right. So, in this case, the adjective will be the word beautiful. That's right. Now, remember once again, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. Okay. So, when we talk about Dorothy, Dorothy is the girl with beautiful hair. Or, no, not hair. She is just a beautiful girl. Right. Let's quickly look at the activity. The first part says, underline the adjective in each sentence. So, boys and girls, you need to remember you have to underline. Now, let's quickly look at number one. Number one reads, Amanda has curly hair. Let's read it one more time. Amanda has curly hair. Now remember once again, we have to find the adjective. We have to find the word that describes Amanda's hair. And for number one, we say the adjective is the word curly. That's right. Now, I wrote the sentence on the board for you. Amanda has curly hair. Remember, boys and girls, we said that curly is our adjective. So, you now need to go ahead and underline your adjective. There you go. So, now we have underlined the word curly. In the next part of the activity, we have to make sentences. Now, let's quickly have a look at what we need to do. It says there, write your own sentences with the following adjectives. So, you need to make your own sentences with the words hot, big, spacious, delicious, rotten and dirty. Now, I made a sentence with the first word. So, let's quickly see what my sentence is on the board. I wrote a sentence, the water in the kettle is hot. Right, the water in the kettle is hot. Now, everyone, you need to go and look at all the other words listed and try and make your own sentences using those adjectives. Have fun, boys and girls. We will see you shortly after the ad break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. Thank you so much for joining us today, boys and girls. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Now, before we say goodbye, we need to sanitize. Remember, boys and girls, sanitizing keeps all the nasty germs away. So remember, wait for your hands to dry before you touch anything. Now, before we go, my friend Zoshi promised me that we could go to the park today. So, can you help me find Zoshi? Zoshi! Zoshi! Where are you? Oh, there you are! Well, from Zoshi and I, we say goodbye!
Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.